So we have another Crocktober meal for you. I am going to just put some stuff in my crock pot and hope it tastes good. Um, I didn't know what I was gonna do. I had a crock pot meal in my freezer that was ready to go, but that would have been like a 30 second video for me to explain it to you. So I'm gonna save that for after or remake it not already frozen and save that one for later. Tonight, however, I'm using some sofrito that I have. Um, I love this stuff, but I'm gonna try and make a whole meal in my crock pot. I have some beans that I canned it myself that I'm gonna put in there, some chicken, some bell pepper, some onion, some garlic, and we're just going to see how it all okay. turns out. Getting all the sofrito out of the jar and into the bottom of my crock pot. I'm just gonna make sure it covers the whole bottom. Next, I have three frozen chicken breasts. I just put that right on top of the sofrito. So I've got my onion all chopped up in there. That's one small medium-ish onion. Okay, so I have some yellow and some orange bell pepper in there. I'm going to dump a can of diced tomatoes and put some garlic in as well. One can of diced up tomatoes. Okay, and I put some minced up garlic. I just took a few spoonfuls out of my jar and sprinkled it right on top. Okay, I have put some black pepper on there and now I'm gonna shake some of this spicy ranch. Okay, so once the chicken thaws out some and I can break it apart, like move the pieces apart, and I can give this all a mix, I will. But for right now, I've just put the ranch and the black pepper on. I'm gonna get the lid on and let it start okay. going. So I will show you a sped up version, but that's dinner getting prepped. Okay, you're gonna put mustard and ketchup. No, I just want ketchup. This reminds me of like chicken tacos or chicken, yeah, I guess chicken taco soup. It has all those flavors. Is it good? Mm-hmm. It's very good. 